So we have a linear and quadratic system, and they want us to determine a relationship that is true. And when we look at our answer choices, we could eliminate answer choice K because the inverse of a quadratic equation will probably be another quadratic equation with some type of transformation or shift. So this is wrong. When we look at H and J, because there's points of intersection, that's probably going to be incorrect because there are values for where g of x is not less than f of x or vice versa. There are values where g of x are, is greater than or equal to f of x. So h and j are gone. Now, when we look at f and g, we have to understand that there are points of intersection. So whatever the x value is for these x's, we notice that the y's are the same for both the linear and quadratic equation. So this is why the answer choice would be f, because we know that f of x and g of x are, have two exact values for x. That's why there's two points of intersection. If there was one, then we'd probably go with answer choice g.